Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome to part two of the video. And today, first thing we're gonna do, we make some room in here. Yeah, so we have to cut something out here. We make some room to fit our infinity light in the BMW E60 tail light. And uh, I would say I cut something open and then we take a look how it looks. I probably do a little cover over here, what I paint later on black. And then we have to work on the blinker. Uh, and we also have to build our own control unit to control all the function of the new modules. Okay, so that's what we are looking at right now. So here's glass, here's glass, every here is glass. So I made some uh, with other plexiglass sheets. I made some uh, molds to put them on here. Yeah, bring them into shape. And now we put our light stripes, our four light stripes in here. And make the turn signal up here. I also put a cover on here. So we have this module, what we can glue in later on. But um, the next step is to glue all the holes for the individual LEDs. And then we paint everything black. Except for this round thing here. Yeah, we paint everything black. Then we install the LEDs and do the electrical work. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I drilled all the holes and already primed everything. And uh, it doesn't look really pretty. But it doesn't have to look that pretty because... Um, I don't think you can see it later on that good and um, like I said I just want to test it and it's not to going in a car or anything like that I just want to see what's possible um, yeah, if you want to do it yeah you can do it really clean and all that stuff but um, that takes a lot of time and um, yeah just to look at it as a little project I don't want to have it that clean okay now we're gonna paint it all black and then um, we need to install it Okay, now it needs to dry, then we install it in the light, uh, then we do the electrical stuff over here, tape it up, put it in the uh, taillight housing, and then we paint the whole housing also black. So here's what the fin finished painted products look like, yeah, that's a module, infinity module, that's for the braid light, yeah, so it goes right here out of the light, um, I hope that looks good, if not, um, yeah, then that's messed up. But anyway, so that's the blinker for up the top, and um, yeah, everything's painted, everything is dry, painted a couple days ago, and now we have to put all the little LEDs, that are the blinker LEDs, in here, like this, and glue them, yeah, so we're doing that, and then for here we have all the brake light LEDs, so we have to put them in here too, and glue them as well. Oh, they should fit in here, oh, like this. Yeah. But yeah, that's a pro progress. So get everything in here. And then also solder all them up and all the resistors in here. So every light needs a resistor. Okay, so I soldered them already. So now everyone gets a single wire. What is going to our computer. And um, yeah, so we can make the following light. I hope so. I never worked with these computers before, but we tried to, yeah, con, uh, to make our own um, taillight control module. I've never done that either. I'm uh, excited to see how that turns out. All right, so this is done. That's what it looks from this side, and it should be like a following blinking light till the edge of the taillight, and then it goes around the corner. Yeah. First, I was thinking maybe you can do it with like the double amount of LEDs with like 12 in a row it would be it would look better but um yeah so we're going with six here um yeah that's what it is so that module is waiting for the wires uh already put all the bulbs in here as well yeah so now we need to wire that up but it should be a lot more easier because everything is going just to two wires and not like this every single one is get hooked up to the Arduino Alright, so I soldered all the cables on here, and so basically this is ready to go in there. So we put it in there and glue it. Later on we have to uh, yeah, paint a little stuff too. Okay, so the turn signal is basically glued in place like this. Yeah, so I have to clean up the corners and um, yeah, tape the lights and paint it also black later on. But first you get the lower unit done. Okay, so the infinity mirror was also glued in and uh, we have some 
uh, bad wrinkles in there but yeah i'm not a pro in that foil stuff but um anyways it doesn't affect the effect and uh, like i said it's just to take a look what we are able to do and what not and if you want to do it really good and nice you, you can work way cleaner and not that fast yeah but i want to see right quick what we can do okay so that's what it looks like installed yeah i just recognized i could have done another row over here yeah i mean that depends on what you want to do you can make more rows more lights same as for the blinker yeah you can like make three lines in here or whatever but yeah that's about it so we have to cut it up cover the leds and this round place here and paint the rest also in black and then we put the glass back on okay so i trimmed all the glue places a little bit yeah like i said i don't want to put too much time in it and uh, no i paint everything black so i covered all the light already so the rest is gonna be painted black so we put the glass back on that's what it looks like with the glass back on looks pretty nice so everything is blacked out and uh, yeah you can do that also more nice but um so here I hooked up the mini computer already yeah so and um, now first and the most important thing I want to see if we have a following light here so I have to hook up the laptop uh, I wrote already a program and then we see how that looks so that's what the blinker looks like apparently the first one is not working right now but um, anyways um, I think that's a little bit too slow so um, I'm gonna write that here down to I don't know, can we do 50? Let's see. So, so it takes a little while. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Wait, let me turn off the light. Maybe a little bit too slow, but yeah, you can adjust it right here. Let's do 75 or 80. Yeah, I think that's a good speed for a turn signal. Yeah, but um, yeah, so you can also put a signal in here. So this one is controlling this. So every every time it gets a signal, it gets activated and it's doing the flashing like this. Yeah, you can do it with like multiple rows with like 20 LEDs or whatever. But um, yeah. So let's see the other signals. Okay, so now I slowed it down and put one of the signals down to the brake light so we can see the brake lights. And um, yeah, so one row is completely not working. That's messed up, but the other ones are working. And um, yeah, it's pretty bright. It should be all right for brake light. And um, yeah, the light looks also all right. Uh, let me see if I can hook up the infinity mirror to all that stuff too. Oh, well, that's what that looks like, but there's also a couple not working anymore. Uh, but that's the best I want to do. That is what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. I mean, if you want to do it all really clean and... Uh, yeah, really clean, do the electrical stuff also really clean. You have a really, really, really nice light. Yeah, I would put uh, probably a little bit more LEDs in here. Uh, put smaller ones like this ones in here too and a couple more maybe um yeah but that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video see you next week